WATE-TV Channel 6, Knox. Tonight's program is provided by Transnational Petroleum, the Uptight Foundation, and Rico's Boom Boom Room. We've got beautiful girls, beautiful. So come on down. Thank you. you get to like it. Hotel Pelican, how may I help you? Uh, uh, well, let's see now, you... Oh, the honeymoon suite. You must be the Gullicksons. Hey, congratulations. Uh, just, just a second. Excuse me, let me get our bellboy. I'm sure you'd like to get up to your room and have... Oh, jeez. Oh, Excuse me. Morris, front desk. Uh, Boris, front desk. <laughs> Boris! He's, he's outrageous! Love me! <laughs> Honeymoon suite, hurry. <laughs> right there! Safe out! What are they? Everybody on the beach. Sharon, what do you got there? A letter from the sweetie? No, I don't have a sweetie at the moment, Mr. Plitsky. Uh, Ready? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Your 24 hours are up, Raj. What about those contracts? Total, I haven't even looked at them. The Tarantula Brothers have made what they consider to be a more than generous offer for this flea bag. <laughs> well, the hotel's not for sale. I see. Well, you leave me no choice. And I'm sorry that I have to do this. Please, Roger, please! I need this deal! They'll kill me, Roger, they'll murder me! They'll call my parents! Roger! What do I have to do? Pig! Hotel Pelican. The Shriners? Roger! The Shriners! Uh, yes, I'm sure we can accommodate your convention. 400? 400 Shriners! Uh, oh, well, we've got an Olympic-sized swimming pool and the prettiest beachfront in Atlantic City. They got no gambling. Slipped out. <laughs> Brother, give me the water ball. What do we offer? Oh, uh, Mrs. Martinez. Well, we offer a nice, quiet place to relax. Get out of the shower, you wild woman. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, oh no, sir. No, no wild women here. What do you mean, why not? Well, because, because we happen to be different. We happen to really care about the people who stay here. Be care, buddy. And now, on No Soap Radio's special report. Mr. Potato Head is missing. <laughs> In another shameless act of terrorism, government sources believe Mr. Head was kidnapped by radicals led by the infamous Ayatollah Potato. <laughs> Stunned an immediate reaction from the White House as the president has asked everyone to say a prayer and place a french fry in the window. 
This has been a No Soap Radio special report. The tarantulas care to rummage. I guarantee everyone here will always have a place. And, sir, that is what we will continue to offer. No action, no nightlife. We're not selling anything, Total. Sir, this is a wonderful... Wonderful! Wonderful! It's a thriving... <laughs> thriving! This is a really nice hotel. A dump! A fancy dump. <laughs> sir, tell me, when can I book you? I... Book him. Give him a book. Hello? Hello? Oh. You're out of style, Raj. Face it, boy. It's checkout time. I love this place. Making up the room now. <laughs> Junior. Junior! I didn't do it. What did you do to your mother? She was like that when I got here. Please, go to your room. Junior, Junior, I know you didn't mean to throw Mummy through the wall. I brought your milk and cookies. Now what? It's Junior, something's wrong. Junior? Get a doctor, quick! Saying, baby, <laughs> Mrs. Melrose. <gasps> he made it. Oh, <laughs> oh, what do we owe you? Oh, nothing, Mr. Melrose. Doctors don't care about money. We care about the health and happiness of the American family. Oh, Doc. Too many questions, doll. You can't walk out on me, Frankie. I, I know some things. You don't know nothing. 
No. Nothing except how you dumped Louis the Gimp in the river. I was on the docks that night. Yeah. And I'll rat. I'll rat all the way to the DA. Nobody rats on Frankie Malone. <laughs> You hear me? I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I love you, Frankie. Yeah, I know, doll. <laughs> Buy yourself a dress. <laughs> and gentlemen, a beautiful picture and a beautiful person. Harry the Hippo in his latest film, Blind Rage. We'll be right back after this. We're back. <laughs> and now, this important message from the Distrosis Foundation. Hello. I'd like to talk to you about my friend, Alan. A bright young man with hopes and dreams who suffers from dystrosis. While there is diligent research being done, at present, there is no known cure. All cases have proven fatal. Fatal? In two weeks, he will be as dead as a mackerel. You, you never said dead. So please, send whatever you can. Send your money to so long, Alan. And cut. That's a wrap. Thank you, gentlemen. You said I have a cold. You do. You do have a cold. And dystrosis. And you said you have a cure. Yes, but the uh, mouse died. I saw him this morning. He looks fine. So do you. <laughs> to mention them. N number one, I am at my wit's end concerning the people in the room next door. I can't hear a word they're saying. <laughs> Not even when I put a glass to the wall. <laughs> and, I... and that fugitive munchkin you employ as a bellman, I want him put to sleep. I'll see what I can do, Mrs. Belmont. Good girl. <laughs> you can come out now, Roger. Roger? <laughs> this is a very serious number. My clients are very serious people. Are you enticed? Of course not. This hotel's been in Roger's family for three generations. You can't buy memories with money, can you, Roger? No, of course not. How would you pronounce this number exactly? I think we need a no boiler in the basement. Why? Because the old man's upstairs now. <laughs> How long are you going to put up with this aggravation? Sign the papers and you're out of here. Out of here over a minor repair? <laughs> a beer? Inconvenience? Get the ball. <laughs> A slight miscalculation? Tuttle? Yeah? Where do I sign? I just went crazy, that's all. How could I say it? I just went crazy. Okay, now just... Who are these Tarantula brothers? Joey and Nick? Fun guys! I love them. Gonna take care of everything. Well, what about the people who live here? They'll always have a place, Raj. 
I need to talk to a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Fine. <laughs> no offense, Tuttle, but uh, I need to talk to someone that I can talk to. Tonight, where has he been? One of Hollywood's most beloved actors, forced in recent years to drop out of sight, has agreed to share some startling revelations with you, the American people. To protect his identity, he will be shown only in silhouette, because this is a man who is scared, a man who is frightened, in fear of his very existence. Good evening. Oh, all. <laughs> Let's get right to the point, Mr. X. Your conscience is bothering you. Absolutely. And why is that? Oh, my wife, I've treacherously deluded the American public. Exactly what is the nature of that deception? Cartoons. Cartoons, aren't. Aren't what? I, I, I can't tell you. I can't. You must tell us. You must tell us cartoons aren't what? Wheel. Cartoons aren't wheel. <laughs> Remember the time I swallowed a hand grenade and was blown to smithereens? Classic scene. <laughs> that never happened. Then how was it done? Quick photography. You mean you can't tie your head into a knot? No, no. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. <laughs> there you have it. I'm a fraud. A broken man. But a man who can now live with himself. No, no, no. They'll get me. They'll get me. They'll hunt me down. They'll whoop me out. <laughs> Oh, oh, look! That's them! Oh, no! Not that! Oh, no! Excuse me. You're selling the hotel to Joey and Nick Tarantula? Yeah, but it's not for the money. What's it for? Well, it's, it's for what I want to buy with the money. Like what? The world. I've always wanted to go there. Roger, I've seen the world. Europe needs paint. Yeah. Well, what I was really thinking about was Paris. You know? I mean, they've got moonlight there 24 hours a day. And the best wine, fresh from the feet. <laughs> what have I got here? I've got broken windows, leaky pipes. You know, I studied French. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to Paris. Well, maybe I'll go there just to talk. Hmm? You know who I'm going to talk to here? Je parle français aussi, Roger. <laughs> Mr. Foreman, has the jury reached a verdict?
I envy you, Raj. No more worries, no strings. No commitments, layman's terms. Just tell me what I have to do. I want to get this over with. Sign on these three pages, and you're on your way to Paris. Oh. Roger! I want the following attended to immediately. And number one, how could you do this without consulting with me? Paris, this time of year? Unheard of. And who are these tarantula people? Well, this is it. Fate. This is it. <laughs> Look at this, Sharon. See that? That little guy? That little, little guy on my knee? What a little guy. You know who that is? It's me. It's Morris. <laughs> hey, 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 one more! It's two, me. This is you and me, Rhoda? Yeah. Yeah, well, you better take it. So, you know where I'm going? To be with my grandchildren, with people who love me. Uh, it'll be some surprise on them. You don't have to go anywhere, Mr. Plutsky. Oh, you, Mrs. Belmont? I'm weighing my options, thank you. <laughs> They're gonna fix the place up. They are. They're gonna make renovations that I can't afford. It's gonna be better. It is. It's going to be a better place for everyone. No, Roger. They're not going to renovate. They're going to knock this place down and put up another glitzy hotel like the one next door. Right, Tuttle? Absolutely not. We have no intention of replacing this quaint old treasure with another hotel. <laughs> See? <sighs> Don't, Don't do, do it, it Rush! <laughs> We're going to junk it for a parking lot. What? <laughs> well, where's everyone going to go? Let them go home. This is their home. <laughs> it says in the contract everyone's supposed to have a place. A parking place. <laughs> Room service. I didn't order this. Paris, at this time of year, that's unheard of. <laughs> Hallelujah. And on behalf of myself and the staff, I'd like to thank you for choosing the Hotel Pelican, Mr. and Mrs. Gulkson. Thank you. I hope that your time here provides you with fond and lasting memories. Excuse me. Who are you? I'm Mr. Gullickson. <laughs> You're Mr. That's your wife? Yes. And who is he? I don't know. <laughs> Saturday, get set for a two-hour love boat followed by romance and intrigue on Fantasy Island. Enjoy an entire evening of love and fantasy starting at a special time, 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Stay tuned as Mark discovers the secret of making gold when Mark and Mindy return at a new time. Next on ABC.